Hi guys, well, it's, oh, let's lift the camera up a little bit, shall we? I've just realised I'm dead low. Do it about there. That looks better. Right, pickups. Not done one for absolutely ages. As you know, I've taken a week off YouTube, but I'm back. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. Aren't you glad? No? <laughs> Don't blame you. Right, we have got games, tons of games, and I've got two new systems. Let's get into it. Right, let's get, let's get on with it. Let me just show you, obviously, the one system you already know about, because I've already discussed it. That's right. Oh, get it the right way up, William. Xbox Series X. Picked one up at last. Got mine from Argos. Let's throw that there. Got mine from Argos. What I had noticed on Amazon... There's loads available now on Amazon. But the majority of the ones that are around the recommended retail price are as new. <laughs> the second hand, and that's not for me. And the ones that are new are definitely scalpers. Not that they're not either, because they're £600 plus. Amazon should be doing something about this, I feel. But everyone's to their own, eh? I picked up the system. I've only got the one game for it, and I've gone and left that downstairs. Mm, I'll show that at the end because I'm not getting out of the me pit now. I've got a nice crease worked on this city and I ain't moving. Right, so game wise, we've got all sorts. I'm going to start with the 8 bit, which is directly in front of me because it's the balance of the Commodore 64 games that I picked up. So I'm going to lean forward. Little grimace. And there we are. And I'm going to start off right at the very top. A game which has absolutely zero to do with the TV series. Airwolf. <laughs> For those that didn't know, cassettes. That's how we played them back in the day. Cassettes. Of course, I have them all on ROMs these days, so I collect just for the fun of it, nostalgia, and in some cases, the box art, because a lot of the box art back then was absolutely fantastic. So, happy to put Airwolf back into the collection, and just remembering Elite Software. Pity they're no longer with us. Another one Falcon Patrol 2. Look at that, that's just fun. Just a fun, gimmicky bit of box art. Plays at 60 frames per second. I don't know why I'm getting the cassette out again. You know what a cassette is now. 60 frames per second on an 8-bit computer. Who'd have believed it? Let's get a nice close-up of that one, because that is a good one. Another one. Absolute blast from the past. I would argue not as good as the original, but still a good game in its own right. And I'd, as Marcus would put it, a good bit of fisting. <laughs> Fist too. <laughs> the legend continues. Jewel case. Melbourne house. What a game. What a game. Now, I've already shown this game off before, but I showed it in the floppy, floppy disk version. I've now picked up the version that I did, I suppose, briefly own, because I only had it for one hour, maybe two. Is that all it was, Andy? And then we took it straight back and got me cash back after we copied it. Hawkeye. That's the version I originally purchased, but... Because we were pirates back then. Again, why am I showing you another tape? Because um, we were the original pirates. 
we just copied it, took it straight back to the shops, and I got my money back. Because that's what you did back then. You didn't know right from wrong. It was uh, an industry in its infancy. Nobody could tell us what was right. Nobody could tell us what was wrong. Um, a game I've never, ever heard of. Uh, oh, sorry, if you didn't realise, it's all Commodore 64. I can't remember if I said that. A um, game I've never heard of. It got a Zap Gold Medal Award, so it must have been pretty good. It does look tasty on the back, I must admit. Bom Bomzoobal? I pronounced that wrong, didn't I? Bom Oozle. I think that's better. I don't know how close. There you go. Looks pretty good, I must admit, but I've never heard of it. Whacking great bomb. Have a nice day. Not got a clue. Not got a clue. A game I did originally own. Do you know what? This was such a quirky fighting, fighting game. It's a boxing game. And it was so good. I remember thinking the graphics on the fighters themselves was, was pretty detailed for the system. The, the background was just pants, in all fairness. But you, you, you're you not looking at the crowd. Fight night. Those are obviously the screenshots at the bottom. But such a good game. Such a good game. US Gold, of course. Down to my last two. An absolute cracking and shooter. Just brilliant. In fact, I'm sure somebody in the group mentioned this recently. Silkworm. And I'm sorry about... God, look at the state. Oh, that was actually not too bad then. There you go, Silkworm. Sorry about the glare. Look at that, six ninety nine. They were dear back then. <laughs> um, my last one, which is nine ninety five, prices printed on it. The Way of the Tiger. Gremlin graphics classic. I'm not sure. Ooh. Too taper. <laughs> Have we got? I don't know if you're going to make that out. Just brilliant going back through these and adding them to the collection. Obviously, they made the book games, the cases, the boxes, and all sorts of shapes and sizes, which is an absolute pain in the ass for storage, but it is what it is. Right, now that's the Commodore out of the way. There's a stack they have decided to leave because I don't want to make long, going-on-forever pickup videos. I really don't. I'll leave that one to last. That's fallen on my lap. Leave that to last. We have got some games from Big Game Al. You'll be pleased to know. There you are, Alan. I've given you your game channel mention yet again do not ask for anything more uh, what to do what to do should we leave we'll leave out Al's games to nearly last I'll do the Dreamcast because I'm still picking up games for the Dreamcast it's like you can nearly pick up the oh, yeah, office Two games for the Dreamcast. Walt Disney's World Quest Magical Racing Tour. It's a karting game. Of course it is. And it doesn't look too... I am really sorry about the glare. I've got it so bright in this room. I'm trying to get that such... Oh, there you go. Nailed it. So happy to put that into the collection. That is continuing to grow. And this next one, I know absolutely nothing about. I can't tell you anything about it, but it's 2012 Psychic Force. I have got other Dreamcast games on the way into me. So we are continuing to add to that. I can't remember what I'm up to, but I'm easily over 100 now. Easily. Didn't open that one, did I? Maybe I should have. 
because I can't get into this bloody thing. Uh, nothing there. Let's look for something in the next. Yes, there we go. Manual complete. As is the other one I've already checked. But that's it for the Dreamcast. Now, moving on to the Saturn. Which is, again, another system I'm continuing to collect for. And I'm going to go through these first, because... I had a nightmare with this, and in all fairness, <laughs> after I purchased all of these, um, I think I've already got the game. <laughs> oh, check next time, William. So anyway, I picked up this game first of all. I thought, oh, it doesn't look too bad. Didn't pay attention. Didn't pay attention one little bit. Does come complete. I'll just get the manual the right way. So there you go. Manual's pretty crisp, must admit, pretty crisp. Now let's have a closer look at the case. Can you spot it? Yes. They've gone and butchered another game and stuck a photocopy on it. They've even put a bit of shiny plastic on this, which they've used a bit of sellotape on. So they've butchered it. Absolutely butchered it. But I am intrigued to know what game case did they ruin before they did this. So I'm going to do a video on cleaning that one up. I'm going to tidy it up as best I can. I'm going to get everything off it. And um, I'm going to do it, hopefully, in a way that maybe the case can be reused for someone. But that's a bit another video. So... Copy number one. I then got copy number two. And I thought, don't look too bad. A little bit fun shaded. Fun? Sun shaded. And then I turned it on its side. Nice rip. Nice rip. So, not the condition I wanted it in. As you can see, I was going for the box. I got a manual with it as well. And then, there you go. You can really see how bad that is. So, potentially, I'm going to co that inside with that and do a repair. So, future video. I then decided, oh, what the hell, I might as well just go after it again. So, I did. Oh, my third one. It is complete. But as you can see, that needs repair work, but nowhere near as bad. And then when I did all that, I'm pretty certain I've already got the game already. <laughs> so that was a complete waste of time. Um, but I should be able to make at least two good games out of that and then i'll probably have a we'll have a spare or a spare manual if anyone possibly needs one uh but i should be able to repair repair the box i can certainly repair that one i'll double check i'll triple check i'll find me other copy if i have got it and i'll just keep the best one I'll, I'll sell the others on or give them on but that was those that was that little fiasco but moving on I picked up Gold Next Jewel again. This is pricey. It's going up again in price. Um, this is basically to replace my copy because my copy isn't the best. Um, remember correctly, it's got a bit of a rip on the back. So I decided I'll pick this up now. I'll sell mine on. Simple as that. So it's got a lovely crisp manual. The disc is almost like new. I'm very happy with that. So that's to replace one I've already got. These next ones I haven't got. Sonic 3D. Just look how good that box is. Very happy with that. Very happy. Oops, disc has been a moving. Let's clip that back in there. And again, complete. But what is also nice is when you pick up the extras. And... It's the little booklet that they did at the time. Just to show off other games. 
upcoming games. Ah, excellent. I was hoping it would. Oh, sliding out my lap. I've got the majority of them already. But nice to get them really complete. You know what I mean? With all the extras that came with them. So, very happy to put that into the collection. And, you know, looking at the back of that, that still looks like I had the disc slip again. That is a cracking game. That looks brilliant. So, happy with that. Next one, because I am in, after doing that playthrough of Mortal Kombat, I really am in a proper Mortal Kombat mood. So I picked up Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate. Again, fully complete. Cardboard boxes, they were never the best. And they certainly are any, aren't any better now, but happy with that one. Happy with that one. And this last one, oh my word, pricey, yeah, absolutely pricey. Excuse me, itchy nose. Um, I couldn't believe how much this cost. It's a football game, for Christ's sake. Sorry, it's not a football game. <laughs> Let's get this right straight away. It's American rugby. That is not football, it's rugby. Madden 98. This is so bloody dear, it's untrue. It's a bang on perfect copy, nearly. No, I do love these. These are my preferred cases. I wish they all just came out like this. They're so durable. They're so much better. So happy with that. But absolutely gobsmacked at the price. Absolutely gobsmacked. This is getting to be such a pricey game now. It's untrue. Untrue. With the tackle. That's all the satin. So we've added to the to that collection as well. That's coming along nicely. I know I've got definitely over a hundred. In fact, I've got a right itching snoz. I'll tell you now what I'm up to. Oh, just before we go any further, let's put that on silent because there's nothing more. Oh, I'm not up to 100 yet. I've got 89. Sorry, 89 on Dreamcast. Up to 89 games there. Where's the Saturn? Sega's 107. So definitely over 100 on the Saturn. 89 on the, um, the Dreamcast, but I have got more coming in. So adding to that nicely. Before I go any further, let's do another system. Because I have picked up the A500 Mini. That's quite a chunky monkey box for a mini system, isn't it? It's because the size of the original mouse, which is the tank, you all know. You all know that. The controller that's in there as well. It comes preloaded with 25 games. Nice to see another world there. One of my classics. One of the games I really should complete. You can do it in less than 30 minutes. So, this arrived today. And the great thing about this, as long as it's WH... Is it WHD? WHD load files. Stick them on a stick. You can play them to your heart's content. You can put all the games on it if you can get it on a WHD. That's what I actually have on my Amiga 1200. I have a, I'm sure it's a 16, it might be bigger than 16 gigabyte, might be 32. Anyway, um, I've got a thousand games loaded on that. Do the same with this. And it's such a cracking system. Will they bring out a full size version? with a working keyboard like they have done with the Commodore 64. Might be a little controversial, that one, because there's plenty of people out there that have still got working Amigas, and they've maxed them out. They've really had added all sorts to them. Vampire systems, Raspberry Pis, to get them HDMI'd out and everything. Um, 
I mean mine I've not gone through to the HDMI uh, modification on it I am thinking about doing that but will they bring out a full size version it could easily be done you could easily run the software on, on a Raspberry Pi most definite so interesting but might be a little controversial that one wish I brought a drink up because I'm getting a bit parched is the word I'm going to use right we're going to do these and then we're going to do you know what we're not we're going to dive into Al hey. <laughs> now that would be controversial let's all dive into big game Al I'll save those ones to last because as Alan would put it and as he was put it while he was selling them to me those are the creme de la creme that was a freebie I think I got off him because I do buy quite a few games off him every now and then so these are all complete you don't need to see what a game go do you really Christ. right zoo cube All complete, even with the notice. I know we went on a mission to do all that. Warranty labels, everything. He got them all proper, complete, fair play. And once... I mean, how long did you have the collection for, Al? One, two months, maybe longer. And he's selling it all on, so I'm grabbing a few. I keep looking at this and I keep saying Echo to myself, but it's not because it's eggs. Ego mania. Mm, cover isn't the best, if I'm honest. But it'll do. What do I want for the money? Because he has, he did, sorry. He has, he did look after me on price. Hulk. Ace Golf. Oh, the film was shit. Catwoman. I'm sure I've played this. I'm sure I enjoyed it as well. Blood Rain. I'm sorry about the glare. I really am. I'll have to come up with something different next time. Oh, there you go. Some wrist action there to get rid of the glare. Now, for the most expensive ones in the bunch. And as he would put it, a full collection. Uh, one of them is German. Apparently rare as hen's teeth to get it in Germany. Nicole, Nicole, you might be the one to answer that one as I kick the camera. But I'll point it out when I come to it. Anyway, let's get them in order. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So it's two. Oh, look at that. No glare. I'm easily pleased. Let's put that up a bit, a bit higher. Higher. Ooh. We do like a double disc here. And the last one. I would actually say this is the rarest out of all of them. Um, but what does that mean price-wise? Because I, I haven't got a clue. And it is again Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But this is the German copy. And apparently it's not available anywhere. Nicole, can you confirm that? Read in the back. Yes, it's definitely German. I can't read it. At least not anymore. 
unfortunately, all my skills of reading German are down to the absolute basics. You know, I can say good morning, good evening, good afternoon, hello, goodbye, that sort of thing, but as for anything else, I never, I never got round to using it, did I? Unfortunately, so I just, I'd, I'd have to learn it all again, which wouldn't be a bad idea, in all fairness. Wouldn't be a bad idea. But there you go, the German, German version, the German copy, and that is that little subset complete, I believe. Right, thanks for that, Al. Top man. I'll probably have a few more off you before they all disappear. Because I think you're still, you are still trying to get rid of them. Right, last games. So, kept that one to last. It's a PlayStation 4 title. Um, I have got some PS5 titles, but you know what? I'm going to save them to next time. Because, like I said, I don't want the video too long. So, <sighs> Dynasty Warriors 2. Now, I know I've got that right. Because I always say Destiny Warriors, and uh, the wife goes... Mm -hmm mental with me for saying that these are just fun full-on non-stop action absolute mayhem fighting games but i didn't have this one in the collection so i put it in the collection so we've added to the playstation 2 a little and this next one um because it was it was part of the bundle I'm playing them recently on the Evercade, which brought back so many good memories. Anyway, it's Worms 4. Mayhem. Just a brilliant game. So much nostalgia for Worms games. They are so much fun. What have we got? Oh, up and coming Codemaster games. Dolly Bird on the front there. <laughs> Micro Machines. <laughs> they were so much fun. Oh, Toka Race Driver 3. I can't remember if I've got that one. Oh, Sean, you've been playing 2005. That's 2006. LMA Manager. Brian Lara Cricket. Good games. Obviously, Worms on the incredible Sensible Soccer. It's great flicking back, looking at these. Heroes of the Pacific. And obviously, there, Toka Race Driver and Colin McRae, 2005. Was that the back? Yeah, that was a back. Toka Race Driver 3 on your mobile. <laughs> Compared to games you can get these days on your mobile, that would be utter dog shit. Let's be honest. And the last game I'm going to show you. Little controversial. Chernobylite. Yes, all to do with the Ukraine. You know how we like to keep it real. All to do with Chernobyl, which you all know, and you should know, is actually in Ukraine. <sighs> Looking at the wheel there, the Ferris wheel, straight away what comes to mind. Modern warfare, 50,000 people used to live here. We all know what happened there. What's brilliant about this game and obviously with what's gone on there now will not look anything like this <laughs> so we've we've got a bit of history here because the uh, the entire region's been bombed and bombarded that much it probably doesn't look anything like this when they did the game they basically were doing scans of the area um i can't remember the correct terminology that was used um but basically in the game, you're stuck next to a, a, a certain tree, um, with a certain building in the background. That is there. This is so realistic to what I'm going to say was. 
this was so realistic at the time, untrue, but obviously with everything that's gone on with the invasion and the bombing of the area, it probably doesn't look anything like this now. So, but a brilliant game, brilliant game. So I'm really happy to add that to my collection as well. And that is it. We are done, people. That is everything. Um, Al knows I've not showed every game there. I've got a good stack of games there for him to show again. Because I don't like making these videos too long now. Make sure you check out my channel members as well. Always, they're going to be getting shout-outs whenever possible. All channel members do that now because they've hit that join button. That's right. I've got a join button. If you want to give me that additional support, because you can, it's entirely up to you. If you can, please do. It is very, very appreciative. Uh, which reminds me, I've got to sort out my uh, American tax return. Yeah. Even though I live in the UK, those frackers are trying to take 30% off me. Not funny. Not funny one little bit. So I've got to fill in my forms to stop them from doing that. Because I've got to pay my taxes. Fair enough. Because it, this isn't classed as a hobby anymore. Not by any government. So they're going to grab whatever money they can. So I've got to get those filled in. Right, so we've done the members. We've mentioned Big Game Al more than once now. I should be charging you revenue for that, Alan. <laughs> just, just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, as always, guys, stay safe because it's a crazy world out there. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Have a great day. Take care. Bye for now. Woohoo!